I have with me Margaret Lung. She's a vice chairman and chief executive at Hang Seng Bank and uh, coming out and posting a 14% increase in profit last year. And we're also talking about a property market that looks, well, a bit more than buoyant, doesn't it? Uh, uh, Margaret Lung, thank you very much indeed for joining us. So is it more than buoyant? Is it a bubble? Uh, it's very difficult to say. I think certainly the prices have gone up a lot, uh, particularly in the second half of last year. Um, I think it's partly driven by the liquidity in the market, partly driven by the very low interest rate prevailing at the moment. Uh, you have heard from Bernanke yesterday. I do think that the U.S. rate is going to remain low this year. That means to say Hong Kong interest rate will remain low. Um, it's so people are looking for investment opportunities, be it in bricks and mortars or be it in invest, um, investment instruments. And they go for bricks and mortars, but the thing is, how, you know, does this have legs? I mean, how, do you make forecasts in terms of how much money you're going to be lending and how much demand you're seeing for money? Um, the loan demand has certainly gone up, not just purely on property, but on all fronts. Uh, people are borrowing for their um, property development, property investment, uh, property for their own usage, uh, as well as for manufacturing, as well as for exporting and trading. And don't forget the uh, consumer industry is doing very well and the, uh, um, the, the tourist industry is doing very well as well. So the loan, de loan demand in general had gone up. You know, but uh, you know, these valuations and the criteria for these valuations, does that worry you at all, Margaret? Um, we can only see what is the demand. And at the moment, there is still strong appetite for property. And uh, the valuation that we provide is really what the market rate indicates it to be. We cannot say anything other than what is the transaction price. Um, the latest indication is that the volume is down on transactions. But on uh, the uh, price level, uh, I would say at best it's holding its own, but in certain areas it's still escalating. Let's talk, because you know, just Hong Kong, of course, you're China, and you have a growing Chinese operation. I think operating income up 24% there. You see this uh, growing, and you're adding, I think, 700 employees in China as well? No, no, no. no. 700 is Hong Kong as well as right, China. Right, OK. I was saying that's quite some growth there. So <laughs> that's right, that expansion yeah. continues. Where, again, are you seeing the growth in China? Is it, is it uniform or certain hotspots? As far as Hang Seng is concerned, our investment in China is largely going into uh, in the Pearl River Delta and the uh, Yangtze River Delta. Uh, naturally, we are also investing in the Bohai area as well, the Beijing area. Um, but the, the, the bulk of our activity will be in the two Pearl River Deltas. Our head office will be in, is in Shanghai. We have just bought uh, a property uh, head office for, our, for ourselves. We will be building out more um, uh, sub-branches in uh, the, the south. Um, and we, our aim is really not to build up branches after branches, but really to concentrate in the niche market that we are in. We believe Hang Seng had a very strong brand in terms of wealth management products and both in the manufacturing as well as in the distribution. This is the model that we want to replicate in China. Um, we want to be the wealth management producer or, or provider for the uh, affluent public that is growing very fast in number so in you China. Want to, essentially what you're trying to do is set up a private bank, is, uh, uh, almost. Uh, a top niche prestige banking of what we call it in Hong Kong. So, you know, that brings me on to, well, what sort of uh, talent are you recruiting at the moment? And, you know, how do you strike the balance between compensation and indeed also retention. Oh, that is a real, cha a real challenge. I think it's uh, no secret that the uh, number of talents in, in China is limited in number at the moment. Uh, and naturally, we need native uh, speaking uh, Chinese. And uh, at the same time, they need to be fluent in English because our, all our documentations are in English as well, as well as in Chinese. So the talents that we're looking at are really local graduates, or graduates returning from overseas. Um, and uh, we are seconding some people from Hong Kong as well as in uh, other parts in the world. But mainly we're training up locals. The number of secondees in comparison is much lower than our local population. Nogalun, final question. Uh, what are you targeting for profit growth in China and the overall profits in 2011? Um, we will certainly be uh, giving a lot of uh, uh, attention to our business in China. But Profit in isolation in China, it's not the real target, but what we can utilize the China connection to build up the business in Hong Kong and use our Hong Kong connection to build up the business in China is the key point. And if, if they can repeat what they do this year I'll be, uh, in 2010, I'll be very happy. So that's the target, is it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Margaret Lung, thank you very much. Thank you. The CEO there of Hang Seng Bank.